Hey there folks, in today's video we're going to be testing out Seafoam's top engine cleaner and lube for our valves here on the Chevy Equinox with a 2.4 liter Ecotec engine. Now this is a GDI engine so the valves are going to be pretty nasty with carbon buildup. So in the video we're going to be showing you how to use the product as well as the before and after look at the valves directly. So we're going to dive right into this and take a look at those valves and see what we're looking at. All right, so we're gonna take a quick peek into our valves here with our endoscope camera while we have the intake off for a separate project here. That's cylinder number one. That's cylinder number two. That's cylinder number three. And the best angle I can get of cylinder number four, which seems to be the worst. All right, so now we're ready to start the cleaning process of the valves here with the sea foam. So the first part of the directions, make sure that you have your engine warmed up to operating temperature, which we already do. And then we're gonna hook ours into the vacuum line. It'll be hard to see down there. I'll show you a picture of where it's actually located right here. So we're gonna need an assistant for this next part. So I'm gonna go get my wife to help us out. And then I'm gonna be revving the engine at 2000 RPM while she sprays the entire contents of the bottle with no stopping. All right, so now that the valve cleaning process is all complete, we're just gonna use our boroscope camera to look inside the valves and see how we did. All right, so it's time for our opinion on the Seafoam top engine cleaner and lube here. So I'm going to be giving it a thumbs down and not buying it again simply for two main reasons. The first one being that while it actually did take quite a lot of carbon off of the valve ports, it did not take enough off of the actual valves themselves to justify buying it again. So the other reason is if you listen closely, there's still a little bit of liquid in there, probably about a quarter of a can left. I shook it and I tried to get it out and it lost compression. So that could be a reason why it wasn't very effective, but in my opinion, that's not a good thing. The can should have enough compression to get all the liquid out. I don't know if that was the angle that it was sitting at, but that's the only way I could apply it properly. So thumbs down, but if you want to take a peek at it for yourself, check your valves out. Maybe you want to try it and put in the comments below if you like the product or not and show us your results and see what happens. Hopefully you found this helpful, and as always everybody, please like and subscribe.